um, Pixlr. And this also is really good for people on Chromebooks as well. Um, if you go to pixlr.com, uh, and it's actually been updated recently, at least visually on the front. And they have like several levels of this. If you just need like a quick photo editor, they have a Express, they have a Nomadic. Um, but the editor is what you want. And this is actually by Autodesk. And I think they do have a iPhone app uh, component to this as well. But again, I think it's one of those, those Express or Pixel or Omatics. Um, but it's a web app. It's basically, I don't know how they got away with this much Photoshopness as a web app. Um, and now actually you can log in with Google and it, you can keep files on it in its own um, its own kind of file library, which I don't think technically connects to your Google Drive. Um, but I have a couple like podcast graphics and uh, before I picked up Photoshop about a year ago. Um, so I can pick up from any of my projects right in here. And it's just like I have this uh, dummy staff picture and I add my stuff around it and and spit it out as a PNG that saves on my desktop and I'm good to go. Uh, so for those that are just looking for that little bit of Photoshop, instead of like grabbing it, you know, you know, you know paying the $10 a month, I, I know it's such a high bar now to get Photoshop, right? Um, but if you just need to do a couple little things, this is a really cool way to do it. Um, I know, I think Chachi was asking about like, they need an MS Paint for, for Mac, for instance. You know, and I think we were talking about using GIMP and, and, and which GIMP's, is GIMP. GIMP is fine, but you kind of need to even you, you need to learn it. If you, either way, you need to learn it yeah. for mm -hmm. a Photoshop like program. You need to learn it. You need to figure out how layers work. You got to understand the metaphor. Um, but if you're familiar with Photoshop to begin with, which I, I think a lot of people are at this point, um, especially if you went to like a little I'm just teaching Photoshop in high school at this point, um, you can dump into this pretty quick. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, don't expect key commands to work most of the time, like because most of them are like, you know, command tab goes actually to a different thing, you know, or mm -hmm. reloads the page or refresh the page by accident all the time with this thing. Um, but PIXLR.com if you want to check that out. So no, uh, it's, it's actually pretty nice, though. The one thing I'm it doesn't have a magnetic lasso. <laughs> but it's like the fundamentals are there. The fundamentals are there. And it actually reminds me of like Photoshop three, <laughs> which isn't that that old. You know how long I had like Photoshop seven sitting around and then CS two and oh, that's uh, what I was thinking. CS three. Yeah. I mean, the, to me, it's it's not that far off. How do you get what are you doing? Set main color. Oh, there we go. OK. Oh, yeah, the palette's a little weird. Yeah. But you got your layers, you got your history, you yeah, got your it navigator. It, it, it's, it's, it's there. It's enough. So, uh, What's your tip, sir? This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Do you like professional wrestling? Want your discussions? No holds barred. Check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com for all the wrestling podcast flavor you can handle. 